it's actually because, uh, it's what me and your mom did last night. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast where we talk about anything and everything that comes out of the crapshoot. I'm your host, got JD. Got this him. is my I co-host. I got him, boys. I got him. James. I call him James. Everyone else calls him Jimmy. And a lot of things. Hey, hey, hey finish it. Yeah. Say, say it correctly. Oh, what do you mean? I did say it. Finish the finish the phrase. What phrase? The intro phrase. I, I said it. I said you the intro phrase. You know what you're missing. I said the intro phrase. You didn't say it. I just didn't it. give you any time to say your tar- part of the intro phrase. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Where <laughs> I'm starving over here, JD. Where's my part of the intro? <laughs> well, you know, a lot of things have happened this week. So yeah i mean it's <laughs> so yeah <laughs> I, <laughs> i'm pretty sad because uh my favorite internet, my favorite internet uh personality uh superstar wwe wrestler he's just uh, he's, he's under a lot of fire right now and i andrew tate i don't know how i feel about that you're talking about andrew tate no, not Andrew Tate. He's already been oh, arrested. How can- you're talking about Jeff. Yes, I'm talking about Jeff's um, <laughs> Jeff's client, uh, Logan Paul. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, on, JD. What's his last name? Say it. Logan Paul. No, no, no. What's he's... Jeff's last name? I don't know. Some weird last name that I don't remember. I'm just going to keep calling him Jeff. Uh, what, fuck, what's the name of the Game Awards guy? Jeff uh, Keenly? Yeah, I think, <laughs> Jeff, I think that's Jeff it. Jeff Keenly. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jeff Keenley was really happy about that uh that one kid at the Game Awards right there. Yeah, I'm sure he was. Uh, I bet he was. Oh, I think static. I think he, I think he was laughing. <laughs> I think he said Rafflecopter. Schwa, 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 schwa. <laughs> Lol, Jeff Keenley said Lamau. <laughs> <laughs> so Chase, there's a uh, that's not the important thing though. Yeah, Logan pulls in some hot water. We already talked about it last time. What what I really what? wanted to talk about was what you sent me earlier today. What did I send you? Because I know I sent you. Your brother has been oh, arrested. That okay? I thought I thought I sent you a meme, and that's what you're referring to. I mean, I think at this point, I mean, <clears throat> I know that you know everyone in your family, including you, are probably convicts of some sort, have some sort of criminal record that's been expunged, just like the uh, the developer of CryptoZoo. That I'm not going to name here because I think he got he got doxxed pretty hard Who? by uh, Loganiel. Loganiel? No. Yeah, so, yeah, that was also another sad thing. But uh, yeah, how did that uh, how that happen? So, and and do, it goes do I, back to the year 1999? Is this the is this a, is this one of your real brothers or is it is this not a brother <laughs> you've you've spoke to me <laughs> about before? Okay, hold on, JD. I, we we have the same dad, so they are my real brothers. They're just half brothers, though. I I, I mean, with... I mean, I round down, so like it's just. <laughs> <laughs> you know what everybody does? They round down. Yeah, I round down. Anyway, though, uh, is this a brother that you've spoke to me about before, or is this not? Yes, that's okay. why I said it's not the one that you think. Okay, because, because I only I've know two you, of, of your brothers. Do you I only have two? have two? Okay. And okay. Uh, and which one is it? The one I do the podcast with. <laughs> not, so not I, the, that was not the, the one I was thinking about. <laughs> not really, because yeah. I would have assumed that you would think. Because from, I don't like, remember. Because I don't remember which one of your brothers was the one that was. Uh, <laughs> which the which which was the one that was. Uh, particularly bad to you at work or the other one that was uh uh that did the podcast with you and the, I, did, I just didn't remember yeah, i just get those mixed up ones. those are two separate ones so. yeah i get those mixed up so i just don't remember which one's which yeah it's the one that i do the podcast with uh, and, but i would uh, what I happened? assumed it was the uh so uh back in july <laughs> july of, of 2022 year, yes okay uh he had smashed a mirror on somebody's car Okay. And for whatever reason, I guess it just he was angry. Apparently. Oh, oh, you weren't there for this? No, I was not. Okay, because I, I thought like usually, usually you're there for like situations like this. So no, this was during work. He was in a work truck. 
Mm. And, and it's just uniform. some random dude's car? I think. He, like, apparently got angry. He walked over somebody's car or something and, then, like, broke the mirror on it. <laughs> uh, apparently, it was a road rage incident where some maybe this person had done something that made him angry to get out of the car and do something. Right. So it became a gross misdemeanor, which uh, means oh, that it's not yeah. like bad, but it is. Yeah, it's not like, like a not full something... crime, but it's. Still yeah, you can't write a ticket legal. for it. Mm. You have to do something yeah, about it. Yeah, I like... understand. Because I know, I know that you get horrible road rage every now and then and uh, I mean, it sometimes I've, scares I've, me when i'm riding in your car but uh, i mean jd you've seen it i've crashed multiple other vehicles that, i know like, you've i know if you totaled at least like eight or and seven you know that i, I like to slowly drive past their uh, car car accidents to see if there were any women or children in the car with them yeah uh, just so i can verify how many i should add to the count yeah um <laughs> but i know i also know that you take it a step further and like you track them down and like you stalk them at their if house they have, if they have gotten out of the car i do get out of yeah. mine and i slowly walk after them <laughs> yeah on foot you follow them all the way back to the house I, and foot. i yell back to you just just wait it'll only be a moment and that's why it takes so long for these <laughs> these commentary tracks to come out is because that happens hey let's not mince the story okay i've still got more to talk about sure go ahead <laughs> let's not jump let's not jump the shark too quickly <laughs> um so <laughs> How this all began is that I just get a text from my other brother out of the blue where he's like, hey, uh, do you have my, my uh, the one that got arrested? Do you have his girlfriend's uh, or, sorry, his fiance's uh, phone number? And I'm like, oh, no, I don't. Why? What's up? And he's like, the cops are looking for him. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and he didn't specify. He didn't say, like, do it's you have his number or anything? He's like, do you have. Uh, and he said her name he mm -hmm. didn't say like he didn't mention my brother's name at all okay. and so i was like so confused when he's like they're looking for him I'm like well why would they be looking for her and why are you referring to her as him and it took me a second i'm like wait do you mean and i said his name and he's like yeah that's who they're after i i love how clear this explanation is with all the uh censorship that you're putting on <laughs> even though i'm i'm pretty sure you said his yeah, name I, before on the podcast but no also, one's gonna ever know the other podcast still exists where we introduce oh ourselves that, that, that is <laughs> true and yeah I, I'm just trying to, I like the, much like how we don't say what city we're in, but we also say what city we're in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, nobody really cares that much. It's not like just because we say that what city we're in, the people are going to find us. <laughs> JD, it's also not like. And then you, that's going to age like horribly well. That's going to age like horribly in like 10 years or something. <laughs> 10 years. Ooh, That'll be like weeks. the death of one of us. That statement yeah. right there. Yeah, JD, I'm going to be swatted next week. Yeah. And then you'll die from the swatting incident. And then I, I have your full permission to make. To make a uh, yeah, I do. to make that <laughs> that video like public <laughs> and real and profit off the uh... <laughs> and 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 you have to bring Noah on, but you have to pretend that yeah, Noah I have is to pretend me. that he Noah is you, and then and then Noah's gonna be actually like this is actually <laughs> fucked up, and I'll be like I'll be like James <laughs> yeah. James, you've always been fucked up. <laughs> you're gonna be like no James, you wanted this. <laughs> no James, you're fucked up. <laughs> No, James. You're and then Noah's like, "You're horrible, this. JD." And I'm like, "I'm horrible. I'm horrible." <laughs> you want to hear another joke, JD? <laughs> no, I think we're tired of jokes. <laughs> no, no, no. I think we're done with jokes here. What do you get when you <laughs> <laughs> call the cops, <laughs> John? Call the cops. <laughs> what do you get when you mix? Get the cops on the line. A former Twitch affiliate streamer. <laughs> With another Twitch streamer who rarely ever streams. I'll tell you what you get. You get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> Road Rager oh. drives through my window and kills me. You shoot your screen, but nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like Noah disconnects from Discord after the gunshot. So, uh, yeah, did, uh, so did you, you gave him the, your brother brother's fiance's number? I didn't have it. Oh my god, oh. what's with my voice right now? What the what, JD, JD, what's happening to me? JD, <laughs> JD what's whoa, happening dude, to me? Are you, whoa, what's JD, wrong with you, dude? Holy I crap. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I don't just know what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that, dude? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> you became so nasally all of a sudden. I sounded like Ray Romano. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you were a dude with a lot of riz. <laughs> anyway, though, I think uh, you gave you didn't know her number, so like you, but you found out that your brother was arrested. Uh, yeah, we no, so that happened much later. Okay, <laughs> so this, but you this just remember really... this incident. 
No, I, I texted you at like the very end of the incident. Okay. <laughs> um, but so this all was literally happening in the morning of the day. Mm hmm. And it leads all the way to seven at night. Like that's how long it took. Right. But at this moment, I have no idea what's going on. I just know the cops are looking for him. I'm worried that he's dead. <laughs> Uh, and I guess that why... is a pretty real possibility, considering <laughs> how crazy your family is. Exactly. That's why I was like, oh my god. Uh, and so I check his location. He's at his house, because we have like a, a family tracker thing, because a lot of incidents have happened so often that it's just... We, we just have a tracker for our family and stuff. I see. Um, <laughs> and then you found out that he's dead at his house. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no, he... <laughs> He's at his house and everything, and his phone's at 100%, and I'm like, oh, he's probably still asleep. <laughs> he's sleeping. I'm, I'm, like, thinking, oh, his phone's plugged in. He's probably still asleep or something. And so I tell him, like, hey, he's at this place and everything. Uh, go check on him. And then, like, you know, my brother goes and does that. And uh, when he goes in, apparently my brother, uh, the one who's been arrested, mm -hmm. he was hiding behind the door to his house. <laughs> naked naked because <laughs> he was getting dressed and then he heard a knock at the door and assumed it was his fiance <laughs> so he was gonna scare her <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty funny prank but then my brother walks in and he just peers i love how it weighs did he not look outside his door or something before he doesn't have a doing uh, this, he doesn't have a window on his door or like a no the, the little like doorbell it's an, it's an apartment oh i see uh, but no, he, he like got a text from like his fiance or something that she's about to be home and stuff. So he assumed it was her. Ah, I see. And so he hid behind the door and everything. But then my brother walks in and like, he, then he sticks his head out from behind the door and he goes, what are you doing here? Like he does like a little <laughs> voice and everything. <laughs> and, and mind you, JD, he's not uh, even aware of anything that's going on. He, he doesn't know that he's, that he there's a warrant know. out for his arrest. <laughs> yes. So like my brother like turns up, he's like, get dressed, you fucking idiot. What the hell is happening? What the fuck is going on? So he explains the situation to him. Apparently he doesn't even know why the cops are after him. Does he not remember that incident? No, because again, <laughs> this was July of last year. Right. And it is January of this year now. Mm -hmm. Um, He's, <laughs> so he gets dressed. They come over to my house. And right, the house that we had to film the commentary track in. Yes, and they they, they walk up to the door. And, oh, my computer just turned off. Oh, that's back on. Okay. <laughs> They're trying to shut me down, JD. They don't want me telling the truth. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the CIA. It's Eddie. It's Eddie Ibanez from the CIA trying to shut <laughs> get into our call, oh, trying to no. middleman attack oh, us no. right now. <laughs> so they Look, walk up to walk up to your door. Me. Yeah, they walk up to my door. One of the brothers is standing out by the truck. The other one's standing at the front door. It's like very like a movie scene for some reason. And yeah, and then you walk out there, take off your glasses. Like, what is this piece of shit? <laughs> That's what, it's actually kind of close to what I did. I, I, I open the door and I, I was wearing my glasses. So I took them off and I go, you know, there's a bounty out for you. <laughs> One million for your head. I'm looking to collect. Dead or alive. And then, like, my brother turns to me. He was also wearing glasses for some reason. <laughs> Takes them yeah. off all dramatically, and he goes, I can't tell you what's happened. Don't ask me. I just need my things, and I'll be on my way. And then he walks in, grabs, like, his packages, and goes to leave, sets them down. He's like, first I have to shit. And then he just uses the bathroom for, like, seven <laughs> minutes straight. <laughs> Yeah, it's, well, that was him hiding all his drugs. That that was, was that was actually the reason for his arrest. Is I'll say this, Jay. Yeah. It sounded awful. His his shit. Yeah. I, well, I mean, I guess it would sound more awful if you were huddling around, like on the door, trying to eavesdrop on his. No, I was On his though. drop. I went back to the living room and sat down and waited. No, and I don't all, think you it did. It was so silent that I could hear it. I don't think you did. But um, he got out of the bathroom. I asked him about it. He was genuinely confused and stuff. We talked. Uh, and he had to leave because I I don't I don't know what they were doing. I was like, okay, are we hiding? Did he go like? Would they go like deliver him to the like, to the police station? Be like, all right, well, so, I got the guy. Yeah, JD, that is pick actually up the exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. 
I don't because I'm pretty sure it's a bad idea to try to hide from that. <laughs> well, yeah, that's why I was like confused. I'm like, okay, so what's going on and stuff? Um, from what I've been told, they go immediately to the detective's office, which is at the airport. Yeah. Because there's two airports where we live. There's mm. the main one, and then there's the second one by where I worked. Yeah. And what we were aware of is that there was a SWAT teams that lived in like some of the hangars for like rapid deployment and stuff. Yeah. That was literally just a place where they're like set up with no signage or anything. And then apparently a couple like buildings down, there was a detective's a like detective's building. Mm. It had no logos or anything. And when you buzzed in, it sent you to like an operator on a phone, not at the building, like uh someone else. Uh-huh. And they put them on hold, and it was like elevator music. <laughs> and then they were buzzed in, and then it's like they had to go through like a couple set of doors. And then it was like just a fucking regular office building, but like completely blank, except for cop posters and a TV playing true crime at all time. But here's the funny oh, thing, JD. Yeah. All the cop posters were about corrupt cop movies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you see that's the director's subtle hint that this office is actually a corrupt officer's office <laughs> i can imagine and, like that being in a, in a tv show and the, one of the comments on the videos like that and here's the thing jd when my brother was telling this to me and my dad my dad like turns to us and i'm like because when he told us that we were literally watching the movie that they had a poster for and i'm like yeah. this movie's about corrupt cops though and my dad turns to me he's like jim all the cops on that side of the city are corrupt. What are you talking about? And I'm like, well, it's, yeah, it's common but, I mean, sense. It's, it's so obvious. <laughs> I mean, they I know. Used, but... Oh, so they were going to the office just like to to bribe the the officers to like <laughs> no, leave it no, alone. They, uh, they decided since they couldn't think of anything, like they were like, uh, he was. Oh, talking so they just my... went there to like clarify what what happened. Yeah, my brothers okay. were like, okay, we. My brother who was like in trouble, he's like. I don't know what I did, but I know I didn't do anything like serious. I didn't do anything incredibly illegal or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And so my other brother, who's a bit more well equipped with uh, the law because he is a criminal. <laughs> in the that's a, that's a way of saying cool, by the way. That's slang for it's saying not. cool. <laughs> it's not. not. Not in this case. <laughs> this is when the word literally actually applies. <laughs> this is when the word literally genuinely means what it means <laughs> <laughs> so they go there they talk to the cops they like talk it out and everything there's a two minute video my brother took from outside the uh interrogation room where they're talking to him and like you can hear all the stuff they're just being very calm for hope like gladly mm -hmm. it's not anything and then like your brother escalated. starts like shaking and his, his face is turning red and he starts going on a rampage in the corrupt he, detective's office he grabs a pen kills everybody in there walks out covered in blood <laughs> so, turns into a big black goopy monster where it's and uh, you know he says we are venom and then he jumps out <laughs> of the building <laughs> so jd my uh my brother took a video of it and because he took a video he has a very certain moment caught on camera and mm -hmm. uh you are not allowed to use this for the podcast unless you no, let me like not. uh manipulate it. But <laughs> no, 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 of course not. Is that this is a him picture? In handcuffs. That's him in handcuffs. Oh. That's behind him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks like a dude who gets real rage. <laughs> oh man, I love how I love how this picture is so, it's it's like portrait and it's <laughs> it's perfectly that, positioned to capture that moment. It's so like it's so bad. I I know why they arrested him. It's not because of the the minor the misdemeanor. It's because he has he's got un he's got unquestionable riz, and that's they arrested him for way too much riz. So they, they that's them taking him out and everything, and um it was like a three thousand dollar bail. So you're saying I can't use that as a thumbnail for the no? You have to let me manipulate it first. Uh, yeah. I'll put it through like an AI art filter. Nah, don't worry. We'll and probably then, talk about something else that I'll use as the. Uh, no, 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 Jay. I want you to now. use it. I just need to manipulate it. I'll put it through an AI AI art filter and do some other things. Sure. I'll send it to you tonight. Sure. <laughs> uh, but they uh, it was a three like a three thousand uh, dollar bail and stuff, and mm -hmm. um, we they so like all of that side of the city, the north side, mm -hmm. uh, is like shut down right now 
for some reason. <laughs> so Shut they couldn't down. go they couldn't go and pay the bail directly to have him released. So, so they, they had to go online, right? No, they had to go to a bail bonds guy, like a place and like put in the bond and everything, which was only five hundred dollars at the time. Um and if they don't like if he doesn't go to like the court appearance for it and stuff or like tries the bail on it. They will send like a bounty hunter, like a dog, the bounty hunter kind of guy. <laughs> That's really? a genuine thing out to like arrest him and bring him back and stuff. Huh? So they're like a uncert, like they're an unofficial deputy bounty hunters. They're like unofficial deputies of the uh, sheriff's department and stuff. And so they would have to go take him down and stuff and then bring him back. Oh, so, so what happened was the dude that your brother, the, the brother, the, so the owner of the car that your brother trashed like made like had some like private investigators go and get him get no, him or no. something real detectives they had they had real detectives go and get him and then the, mm -hmm. the real detectives are like okay i guess this is worth my time and then they actually did him do it they, they did do it months months later no so apparently they had called and questioned uh the company because he was in a company vehicle they had called and questioned the company like hey is this one of your guys did they like uh were they at this location at this time back in july but somebody at the company never returned the calls. So, oh. so it was cold for a while, and I guess it got re-brought back up or something. Oh. And so they came by work, and they had show, they had asked a guy there, who I will only tell you his nickname, Rolly. Okay. Because he rolls on people in the sense of he gives them up, J.D.? Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, what? He gives them up like what? Like he tattles on them? Yes. Okay. So he's called Rolly, and they asked Rolly, hey, do you know the guy in this photo? Hey, do you know They're this guy, Rizzer? And then he's like, yeah, I know the Rizzler. He's actually just a <laughs> So there, let me tell you this. There are like eight guys that are work that look exactly like my brother. Yucker, dude. It's Yucker and Yum. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yucker, Yum, for you going after the Riz. Can we title this episode, They Arrested the Rizzler? <laughs> I could title it Arrested for Too Much Riz. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just rizzling with you, James. Continue. Um, but he... They didn't know who it was. Right. Like, they had no clue. They just had a photo, but they had no clue who it was. <laughs> they had a photo, but, like, four people look exactly like that. And it, was, it wasn't, like, a good quality photo because it's, like, taken as he's driving... Mm -hmm. Oh, and was it like so, a traffic light photo? No, it or was something? from the person's phone that got their window smashed. Oh wait, they saw they were there and they saw it? <laughs> they did, but they took a photo and it's like at their perspective and he's driving, so it's like kind of blurry. <laughs> and so so they're like, hey, can you identify this person for us? And rather than be like, mm, I don't know, it kind of looks like a couple of the guys that I work with, he immediately gives them the full name and everything of the person. <laughs> and and it was actually your brother. And he with knows. It, without hesitance. <laughs> mm. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, if you're cooperating with the police, then maybe they won't shoot you. <laughs> JD, everybody at work was like, why would you not just say, I don't know, can't really tell. Like, everybody at <laughs> even, work was Even like if that, it was they... a really reasonable response, like, yeah, I can't really tell. It's kind of blurry, and it's yeah. it looks like a lot of dudes here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so he's like, my... no, I know exactly who that is. That's, uh, yeah, that's... That's that, uh, it's the Rizzler? I talked to my boss about it, my, my old boss, he was like, I, I I asked him several times, like, you, they didn't know who he was before you told him, and he, like, proudly every time went, yup. Yup. <laughs> like, his boss walks up to him, he's like, like, Rolly, you just, you, you actually just, like, tattled on him, like, you, you that was, and Rolly's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> You so, want to hear another joke, boss? <laughs> no, I think we're tired of the jokes. <laughs> no, no, I think we're tired of the jokes. How about you take the rest of the day off? <laughs> How would you take the rest of the year off? <laughs> James, can you come and escort this guy out? James, come over here. And he's like, yeah, I, I drive what do home. you get <laughs> when you cross a dude who really wants to tattle and a photo that looks vaguely like one of his coworkers? <laughs> I tell you what you get. <laughs> I'll tell you what you get. You get what you fucking deserve. Here's I all his me. contact info. <laughs> 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 Here's his name and address. No, they didn't have his address. For say hello reason. to his. Say hello to his fiance for me. <laughs> She's like knows everything about him. So, 
So they, they go to the tech office, they arrest him and stuff because he was positively identified immediately. <laughs> uh, they talk about the incident and it's just like a small thing. He does a little bit of jail time for like a couple hours. <laughs> the jail time was a couple hours? Um, so it was like, I can find the exact or is it Was he, he was just arrested. like detained for two hours or is it like an actual arrest? Does it have like a record It was an now? actual arrest. Yes. He, has a, he has a record of arrest now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see what time. Okay. <laughs> that's that's so that's that's it's interesting you know divine intervention karma whatever you call it man that was uh all the things that had to fall in place for that to for that to have happened crazy 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 i mean i guess you know your brother is already a, your brother was a criminal and then now your other brother is a criminal technically uh there's there's a trend going on that i'm 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 seeing oh, i can't find the uh the that's really weird oh are you like looking it up on the public thing yeah or? i can't find the exact uh time he sent me the text saying he got arrested oh i see which is weird because like i'd sent like a question mark i'm like are you being real is this real are you being serious are you being serious what are, are what you are japing you are you japing with me right now are you japing <laughs> <laughs> that's weird i can't find it but um it was like around like 12 he's like, no i'm not japing i'm not a japer i'm the rizzler <laughs> so he was in jail from 12 to 7 so you know more than a couple hours yeah okay so what seven hours about yeah and uh <laughs> he got released but like my brother who had his phone like all of his stuff was if, not there to pick him up if they didn't Wait, if you guys didn't bail him, then how much time would he have served then? Uh, I actually don't know. Hmm. I didn't ask about that part, but um, <laughs> he was like alone when he got out and he didn't have any ID or anything. Because <laughs> <laughs> he didn't go in with his wallet or his phone or anything. He like left out with my brother when he Dude, left. I, 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 when I imagined your brother getting arrest, arrested and put into jail, I just imagined like a hologram in the corner pop up and it's like, I am warden. I am the warden. Welcome to Black Iron Prison, like the Callisto Protocol intro. Oh, I, I was thinking of uh, Halo uh, 5's Warden. Uh, yeah. I am the Warden Eternal. This is your new and life. You, I am Warden Eternal, wife of and thy the dad. sheriff. the sheriff is just there like, uh, <laughs> listen, inmates, when I tell you to get up, you get up, because you're in my kingdom now. <laughs> is this all Callisto stuff? I that is Callisto Protocol Callisto. stuff. Yeah, it is all Callisto stuff. It, <laughs> I do not care for the Callisto. I mean, I wonder how he felt. You know, it must have felt like pretty like a breath of fresh air, new life when you're walking, when you're getting out. You know, it so. was the uh, it was the exact scene from a uh, Con Air with Nicolas Cage when he steps out of the aircraft and he looks just like Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know what that is. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I know uh, what that is. <laughs> that's that's quite interesting. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I think there's gonna be like a court hearing and stuff, and apparently. So there's still like this... a trial going on. Well, yeah, because <laughs> trial. Fuck you, trial run. Did you just call it a trial run? No, I said trial going on. Oh, okay. There's, is there a trial that's gonna <laughs> I, go on? I thought you said trial run. I was like JD. What, what is a trial run? Well, that's why I was confused. I'm like JD. It's oh. not all game terms. <laughs> <laughs> trial run is not a game term. Yes, it is. It's kind of. What game uses that term? That's right. Well, you, That's what I thought, dude. That's what I, I thought. I couldn't hear what you said, JD. Yeah, you well, the, yeah, well, the, 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 the. <laughs> you keep cutting out as you try to, like, dunk on me, but I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> is my internet bad? I need to check out my internet. No, it's not. I don't think it's more me than you, but it's like you'll be in the middle of saying something and it'll go quiet for a second, then you come back and it'll just be like, yeah, that's what I thought. What? Yeah, that's that's what, what I thought, say? James. That's what I thought. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yes, there will be a trial to come and stuff. Uh, this does take a is. long time, but um, yeah, since he cooperated, I think it's gonna go pretty well. Okay, yeah, I, think I, thought, I thought your brother was gonna be like the uh, he was gonna be like, yeah, no, no, f all this, and he runs and he tries to you know flee the country, go over, go, like just Sam Bankman freed it <laughs> over a broken car mirror, yeah. <laughs> 
makes the situation ten times worse. <laughs> becomes an international fugitive for something that's not that serious. International fugitive for a misdemeanor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, how does it feel that you uh, that you now have a podcast with a uh, with a felon? Uh, with a I'm criminal. Feel- I'm feeling a lot like uh, I can't think of anybody. <laughs> did you hear about that? Um, did you hear what I said be- when you were searching, trying to search, search, search that text? No, I. Where didn't. I was Sorry, like, I was... Uh, there was a, there was a, there's a trend among among the brothers in your family where you know one's a criminal, one's also now a criminal, and there's only one left, right? So there's like a, there's a distinct trend here. So it's not, it's not just a coincidence. It's not just a coincidence. That is funny of you to say because we noticed a different trend, JD. Cointa dink doink is my favorite uh, coin. <laughs> our new governor, uh, the former sheriff. Remember how I told you about how he he harassed my uh, sister? Yeah, it was uh, Joe, right? No, his first name. Jo- no, what was his first? Oh, name? you're talking about the governor. Yeah, what was yeah. his first name? His name Joe. first name is Joe. I, I voted for him uh for the <laughs> JD are you being serious I I don't remember but I just I just remember his name on there I don't think I voted for him no okay I, good, I because... remember I remember seeing his name and I was like I was like isn't that the dude who harassed <laughs> my best my friends my friend's sister holy year crap year? dude that's hilarious <laughs> 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 well, I mean, if we know anything from Transformers, that's fine. <laughs> so, I, hope I hope your sister doesn't listen to the podcast. Uh, she's talked about wanting to, and I'm like, mm. no, 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 no. Any, anytime somebody I know is I mean, they want to listen this to the podcast, podcast. Is just, it's just not meant for women because they just have weak minds, you know, so. Much like Laura Croft. The they just have weaker minds than men, especially if they're younger, below 18. <laughs> So, She's gonna turn eighteen this month. I mean, I mean, if you if if Megan Fox in Transformers has shown us anything, it's that women <laughs> women who are under eighteen are number one criminals and number Girl. two. <laughs> hey, JD, what have they shown us? Uh, Girls get it done. Ex- exactly. <laughs> and what was the quote again? It's like uh, every criminal is hot, and then he says that while staring at um at underage character actor Megan Fox. Yeah, she says like, and she's a criminal. And that's hot. You need a deep does. fake. You need deep fake Joe's face onto onto uh, the sector seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull that okay. clip out of the movie. Deep fake his face on there. That's funny. And then that's and then post funny. it to your TikTok saying this happened to my sister in real life. Make <laughs> make some clout from this from this incident. So, what well, he just got elected governor and everything, and. Right. Uh, the important thing is that my brother, who harasses him, and was the whole reason that I'm pretty sure he came to my sister's place of work, <laughs> yeah, is has not stopped. And does the governor know that your sister's related to that dude who's always harassing him? <laughs> yeah. What? No way he knows. I I mean I'd imagine it's not like we're hiding our names or anything. We all share the same last name. And the governor knows all your names. I mean, JD. He put my brother puts his name as his thing when he goes out and like harasses him online and in public. Did, did he, he know? Like did name. he know your sister's name? I I imagine he could look it up. JD, he's the fucking sheriff at the time. Hmm. I what do you look would, up? Oh. What do you look up a sixteen year old girl's name that he saw at the harassing at the at the store? Hmm. Uh, it was probably he probably like looked up like okay what is their Maybe. family okay where do they work okay <laughs> I recognize this guy this fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason like my family is now paranoid that this has something to do with the governor is because he just got elected and this is a case that didn't get brought up except outside Let's of the one go. time that they tried to contact us back in Jan- uh, July. Let's go. <laughs> so <laughs> over all these months later, we're like, I mean, the government has been, the government's been pretty out. nice to me, so I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. He's that. been nice to you. <laughs> yeah. I well, saw him. Careful. He gave me a high five. I took a picture with him. I said, "Hey, do you know? You know? Do you know about? Uh, I've got. I know this dude who's been harassing you in your campaigns, and like, and he's got a sister that works at this place. I think you should go check it out." And I was like, "Maybe and a year Joe, ago." And Joe looked at you and he says, "My name's Joe Biden, not not the other <laughs> and one." And he looks at me and he says, <laughs> and he says, and, "And I think it's approximately about a a, a trillion billion a a, tri- a a hundred trillion billion dollars and." Uh, <laughs> So, 
Mm-hmm. My family's now paranoid of this because it's something that got brought Your up. Family's out of always nowhere. paranoid, James. If my family paranoid, never. <laughs> always paranoid. The last time I was at your house was uh <laughs> there were some there was some family stuff that went down there that I was really uncomfortable being in the middle of and it was just what there. It happened again. It happened again. Will no, it happen what, will it happen when we're doing happened? a third commentary track James? Wait, can you remind me what happened cuz I know there Oh, was you don't remember? I, so, I remember? I know there was a time my father came. It was are you talking about the time my father came in? No, 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 no. No, all that is all that stuff's normal. That's normal family stuff. It was like the um it was the one where you got the text from like your father yeah it was a text from your father that said like he left his credit card or something at your mother's place and then your your entire oh. family oh I that know was exactly at your house what you're talking about. yeah i was uh, sitting there on the couch and it was you and like two of your sisters just standing around me be like oh no that's terrible oh my god and i'm sitting there like how should i react to this <laughs> <laughs> it was a very situ- serious I was situation like, should i make a joke <laughs> <laughs> no i wasn't thinking that i was just sitting there like i probably shouldn't make any noise oh. this doesn't really involve me you said mm, this is all interest this is interesting at all but i'm really curious what's happening with the fallen <laughs> i was like that's curious and all but did you know that the jordanian army actually let michael bay blow up one of their helicopters <laughs> did you know that the jordanian army actually let michael bay use their military just to crash every single vehicle they put in it and did you know that i didn't even know the jordanian army was in this movie even though it was specified in the deal that they should be in this movie <laughs> Did you know I didn't know I didn't even know the Jordanian army was in this movie even after they yelled the words it's the Jordanians? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know the Jordanian army was in this movie about giant robots and one of them had balls like like big wrecking balls as like no. testicles that were shot apart by an experimental railgun? Did you know the only reason they were in this movie is because the Jordanian royalty family was very <laughs> huge fans of the first Transformers movie? <laughs> <sighs> Did anyway, you know? <laughs> anyway, one man alone. <laughs> I love that. Actually, I need to, I need to take that picture of your uh, brother being arrested. I'll put that <laughs> as the ta- the title, like the subtext of on it's just <laughs> one man alone. Hold on, <laughs> betrayed hold on. by the country he loves. <laughs> I know exactly what to look up now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put Simmons's face over it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, one man <laughs> alone betrayed by the country he loves i need a good image of him da, da, ding doink is my favorite coin <laughs> yeah oh did you did you see i don't know if we talked we didn't talk about this before but logan paul's response video did you see it i watched it how was it i, genu- I, see, I, I think i think he actually <laughs> see he i think he is a good guy now See, I at first I was like swayed a little by coffees. I was like, oh man, this is this if this is true, it's really suck. But after I saw his response video, I was like, Yeah, you go, Logan. Holy crap. He's just <laughs> he's just dunking on coffees over and over again. He's wearing that 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 backwards hat on, increasing his riz stat by ten. Oh wait, I think he deleted the video. He did delete that video. Oh my god, I was gonna go look at it because I wanted to see the it's comment. It's not there I put anymore. I, I wanted to see the comment I left on it. It's not there anymore, James. Your comment is gone forever now. No. <laughs> what was your comment? I couldn't find it. I only scrolled uh, for a little bit, but I, I didn't know it. I it was. It. I like. I left it right after I saw the uh, Charlie video on it. Yeah. And and then I watched his like full video and stuff, and I was like. You are a dumb fucking brainless idiot if you really think you made any point with this video. That was your comment? Oh, you I was like, all you've done is incriminate yourself more by saying that yeah, he is a criminal. So what? <laughs> <laughs> no, James, I don't think you understand, okay? Coffeezilla <laughs> was getting testimonials from criminals, untrustworthy people, James. I don't criminals I don't know if you understand. You that. hired. No, 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 no. I don't know if you understand that. Hold on, Jenny. Look at my camera. Jenny, look at my camera. Okay. Okay. Let me let me take a look at your ugly mug. Is that your, is that going to be your mug shot for when you become a criminal too? Just like your brothers, James? Huh? Uh, I took I took a and after testimonials. you become a criminal. I, tes- I won't be able to list anything you say. Testimonials, criminals that I interviewed, <laughs> criminals that you hired. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, James, okay, regardless of the fact that he hired those guys, right? 
did you know that coffee's one of coffee's is like vic- victims in quotes was a criminal too <laughs> alleged <laughs> scammer hmm? did you know that my boy I Emil- didn't. emilio I, didn't. I, I, I didn't jd i didn't see there you go big brawn and, and and it was even true is he coffee's even lied dude the, the eggs do hatch the eggs do hatch that's going to be the title of this podcast. No. The, the eggs. <laughs> the, the eggs do hatch, James. The eggs do risk. They hatch. If if they if I'm quoting JD, Logan Paul JD, here, if JD. Coffeezilla did even one second of research, he would have found out that the eggs hatch. A year long thing of researching it. <laughs> okay, buddy. And 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 how many and how much time did Logan Paul spend doing that video? Like 3 days. He spent three know, days I, writing I that he, video. I, I think dude. he has somebody else to watch it and write a script for him. A ghost, a ghost writer. <laughs> Absolutely, I don't think he wrote any of that himself. I don't think so either. <laughs> I think his PR team watched the video. We're like, uh, man, damn, he made really good points. I think How at, do the, we end, just, at the end of the day, we we're all excited for Crypto Zoo 2023-2024. So. <laughs> It shouldn't take this long. It should not take this long to fix the problems with it. The funny thing is, I saw I saw a video that uh, somebody already made that game. Like he, <laughs> it was like a title of like a, I made Logan Paul's like crypto scam game, but for real. Uh, but for real. I love that there's literally texts that prove that he said. I want to make a quick get rich quick scheme. What do you have? You whoa, guys whoa, heard whoa, of? Whoa, 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 whoa. James, it's that's slander. It's not those texts. It's, yes, it is. He, he never texted that, James. That's slander right there. Okay, you know, slander is illegal. He, he didn't text. <laughs> Dude, if you get arrested for like uh, talking shit on like a public figure or something, you get into like a defamation case, I'm going to call you a criminal. That's what we're just going to refer to you as from now on. Me? Yeah, criminal. Well, Jay, this is how they get me. This <laughs> That's I how get they get you. Out, out of all my this family podcast members, is going to get you arrested, dude. Out of all my family members, I'm the one that gets the most popular case, and it's because I called Logan Paul a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, Logan Paul took a large offense to that and sued you, bankrupting you dude, and your family find, for life. I find, I find better call Saul to be my representative, man. <laughs> <laughs> he will never represent someone like you, James. A criminal. Yes, he would. <laughs> a criminal. That's Those are his only clients. <laughs> <laughs> I've never watched the show, so I don't know. <laughs> The only thing I know is that meme is like down, 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 and it's his face the intro zoomed in. The <laughs> intro, yeah. Down, 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 down. Like we're not even close to the song. No, but you know, but they, but the viewers know what I'm talking about. They, they can envision the song themselves. <laughs> unless it's your sister, unless, unless your sister's watched the, uh, what was it? Better call Saul. <sighs> I, I I think it's a, uh, yeah. She has she because she's a big Breaking Bad fan. Oh yeah. I, <laughs> speaking of sorry, disgusting not to movie too watcher. Not, not yeah. Just sidetrack you quickly. Yeah. Have you watched any of the videos of the people going to the house from Breaking Bad? I haven't watched Breaking Bad. So there's a, the house in it that he lives in, and it's very infamous for like the way that it is and the things that happen to and within it. I have no idea what you're and talking about. Very- in the Breaking, Breaking Bad, Bad house, like the 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 prop house. No, like the actual house that they used as like a outside location. Oh, okay. So like the the house they, the, like in real life. Yes, the, the real, in life, real house. life house that they would use to film at and stuff. Okay, what happened they would, with like, that? Film all the outside shots or any like walking out. The uh, new owner of it after the show stopped uh, making it, she put up a metal gate around her house that goes all the way down to. Onto the sidewalk, which I'm pretty sure you can't do. I am pretty sure sidewalk counts as public property, so you yeah. Can't do I, that. So I like yeah, <laughs> but she has it anyways, and it goes even across it. Like it walks off her driveway. It's like a gate that she can only open. Oh, and why go through all this trouble instead of just getting another house? Like, come on. <laughs> well, JD, because that's her house, and the thing is, I I understood at first how much she hated people because there oh, were so it's, it's not that. Oh, so she just hates people normally, she or is it because well, it's everyone's going over there it she not because everyone's going over there because i don't think she would have had a problem with that i think it's that because people keep going over and throwing pizzas on the fucking roof like how he does in the show (laughs) (laughs) he he very there's a very popular scene where he buys a pizza he's all excited to bring it inside then something happens he gets angry he walks outside and he throws the pizza behind him and it was an accident it wasn't meant to go on the roof 
and it lands on the roof, and then they keep it like that for like I think two seasons. The pizza's on the roof, like the king, just rotting on the roof. <laughs> So people apparently kept going to her house and throwing a pizza on the roof. Ah, that's funny. That's pretty and, funny. And while that's funny, it's also I understand why she would hate people and why she No, you know, see what you do is you put plastic hold on, hold wrap. On. Let me finish, Shady. Let me finish. Okay, okay, yeah, go keep going, keep going. <laughs> you let me finish right now. <laughs> <laughs> I understand why she would hate people for coming to do that. Like I could understand going to a, like a house from like a show or a movie, which people do all the time. Uh and just like like looking at it, experiencing it, and like being like, hey, can we go inside and like look around because this is from a thing? People sure. have made money off of like having a home that's from something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, there's so many. I don't want to like go into it because then I'll get sidetracked again. But uh, a new video has come up because there's been so many videos of like the lady like standing in her front lawn, seeing somebody walk with a pizza box and like threaten to shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been like, okay, that's a bit much. But then recently, people were just driving by in a car and they rolled down their window and were like. Holy shit, that's the house. And the lady's in her front yard again. And JD, these people weren't doing anything. They were literally just driving by and being like, oh shit, that's the house. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And she fucking starts yelling slurs at them. What kind of slurs? <laughs> Repeat them to me. Uh, Mexican based slurs. Mm. All referring to that. Uh, See, she's the watched wall. the show too. No. <laughs> <laughs> she apparently has. <laughs> But she, she like just starts screaming slurs at these I mean, people. Just because you, there's no law against being a gamer. <laughs> yes, there is, Jay. <laughs> the, the law of man. <laughs> it's not slander if it's true. Ah, whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa. How does the penguin say it in the Batman? Whoa, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, sweetheart. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the, we oh, so it turns out she's yet. just not a very good person. Yeah, you know, like I've, I've, I no longer feel sorry for her after she started yelling slurs at random people. So now you think it's deserved that she gets pizzas thrown at on the, on the roof no, of her house? I think that's still terrible, but like I don't care anymore about. Oh, her. so you don't care if it does happen? Yeah, like I think it shouldn't happen, but I don't care if it does. <laughs> See, here, here's what I would do if I had that house. Right, take out the metal gate open have just an open house all the time and buy like another place have an open yeah. house all the time charge people to go and no, yes tour the house live and there then also like Airbnb maybe put a put some plastic wrap on the roof and then when someone throws a pizza onto it you can eat the pizza after you take it off the roof because you put plastic wrap over it and just take it it's I free food make make it a thing like if you want to throw a pizza on the roof you have to pay Oh yeah, you could sell your own pizzas. There. Yeah, yeah, Handmade yes. pizzas. Here, take one for twenty bucks. Oh take God. it and throw it on the it roof. Is, and you have plastic good... wrap there up there. You can you can even give it away to the homeless or charity. Hey, that's <laughs> such a good idea. That's such a good idea. She gets like uh, some sort of Etsy shop or something to make her custom boxes, like the one that he has in the show. Oh he yeah. <laughs> and then she she like ma- she finds out like a pizza recipe. She makes a pizza. She gives it to you. Like either you can take the pizza with you or you can throw it on the roof for, like an extra charge. Mm-hmm. And then you get to like take your picture, like a video of you doing it, and like mm-hmm. rent the place Recreate out. Create the scene. <laughs> JD, ah. we've just made JD. Okay, JD, I'm gonna tell you this quietly. We go and we kill the lady and we buy the house. <laughs> we go, we go and <laughs> murder her, drag her dead body to the to the backyard, put into a tub of acid, no, 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 make JD, sure it's gone. JD, and do what they we do what they did on the TV show. We take my tortoise and we cut off her head and we put it on top of the tortoise and let it walk to the police station. Oh my God, you're right. We just do exactly what we did in the show. We uh, film it all. Legal, we put it on TikTok. We become internet celebrities. For legal reasons, I do not actually own a tortoise. What, why would, would that be a legal issue? It uh, it is JD where we live. If you if you claim that you have that you own a tortoise and you don't, it's illegal. Um, no, it's illegal to own a certain type of tortoise. Uh huh. That so I you're didn't saying know. I can't keep my Galapagos Highland turtle <laughs> in my backyard? JD, stop! JD, stop giving it straws. <laughs> You but it like loves them. them. It, it loves them. them. <laughs> it eats them all the time. It's a favorite snack. <laughs> Did you know tortoise stomachs can actually digest plastics? That's not a good thing. <laughs> That's not a good thing that they can. See, if you give it plastic straws to eat, it won't shit anymore. So you don't have any shit to clean up. It says, give a mouse a cookie. <laughs> give a dog, a, give a dog some chocolate ice cream, and you won't have to take care of a dog anymore. 
It just makes Dude, sense, okay? I remember, as, I remember as a kid, one of my dogs, one of the ones we have now, a very small dog, mind you, got into a box of chocolate cereal and fucking ate half of it. Ooh. And is still very active and fine to this day. I mean, it's it's poisonous, but it's not like it'll 100% kill your dog, so... It's poisonous in the way that it's poisonous. The light doesn't tolerate people to drink milk. But much like Michael Jones, my cat doesn't... I mean, my dog doesn't fucking care and just wants it. Yeah. Sometimes they're just like that, you know? Um, the opposite of me, who very much does care if I'm consuming something that has lactose in it. Yes, I keep, I keep having to remind myself whenever we do anything, like, okay... If we go out and eat or if we do anything, JD. Yeah, can't is that what you were thinking dairy. when you were like, oh yeah, let's go get let's go let's go to Dutch Bros. Because they have more than dairy, JD. Yeah, no, nuh uh. Yes. <laughs> they got those it's whatever real. you order, the stupid like, cringy yeah, laser laser tag drink or some laser cat drink or something. Uh that's just the kind of drink, JD. That's not the drink itself. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't order that's cringe. I don't uh, order JD, cringe. Actually you did because you ordered a bland drink. It's like the opposite of cringe. It's about as normal as as you can get. Uh, no, JD, you're like the black coffee drinker of people. You're uh, you are the cringe. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's cringe to go into a cafe and say, "I want some coffee black." Yeah, especially when the cashier is a black person. <laughs> <laughs> I was not gonna go there, but now I didn't even need to prompt no, you no. on that at all. Wait, See, you don't get the reference. It's finally, it's finally out. There is no reference. Yes, there is. Wait, is the reference that is the reference to the previous episode of when you were racist, also? Or no, JD, because those aren't real. <laughs> they're real and they're recorded. JD, JD. And if your sister is going to watch any of these episodes, that's the first thing I'm going to tell her to watch is that episode that JD. opens on you being like black people. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. No, that's not what not. you said. You said something way worse. It's it's a reference to a. Uh... So the character who play, I mean the actor who plays uh, Daryl on The Office, he was in something, and he was like behind a register as a cashier, and a guy walks in, he's like, "I want a coffee," and then he very like, like very strongly says the word black, mm -hmm. and then like he turns to him and he's like, "Just give me one second, white." Uh huh. That's what I. That's what I was making a reference to. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. And in this scenario, JD, you're the racist because you're the one that said it. Yeah. <laughs> i'm the racist but i'm the set one that said i want a coffee black and you're like black people right <laughs> i never said that i never said that yeah what did you say i know you said something that was bad i forgot it already but it is recorded so i guess you can watch it back whenever whenever you want in this, in this situation jd whatever i said is what you said so oh, I said it's, nothing. it's because the waitress was black that's what you said yeah <laughs> mm-hmm so not only did you assume the gender, you were also up. racist. So I never said the waitress. Debatable. <laughs> so is there anything you want to talk about? Because I got like a movie review. Uh, no, I'm good to go. Let's let's do you, your movie review thing. You want to talk a little bit more about the you, You're the a bit more talkative now that you're not sick anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you notice how that happens? No. I still have a I still have a slightly stuffed nose that like comes. Well, I think goes, you're always but... sick in some way, but I'm, you're, I'm you're not physically Ill, sick. I mean, I'm, I'm a very ill man who's dying of many diseases at all times. You are an ill. You are a socially ill loner in a society <laughs> that doesn't that treats them like trash. <laughs> One man. And I am on a on a talk show podcast with that specific person. <laughs> And Noah, your your producer is off to the side telling you no, get him off. <laughs> and I'm mouthing to my manager like, call the police, call the police. Anyway, so, so what's your movie review? The movie The Menu just came out, and uh, I'm gonna get in spoilers pretty quickly. Sure. It, uh, it's about people going to an island and eating a very exotic and very expensive uh, course of food that are like several courses long and everything. The Lapagos Island Turtles. Nope. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a... I heard they were a delicacy. We, we open up immediately with this character, Margo, and her uh, boyfriend at the time, uh, Tyler. Tyler is like a foodie Instagram YouTuber kind of guy. Who's very excited to go and eat here because this is run by one of the best chefs, a uh, war, a more uh, cool-minded Gordon Ramsay. 
basically Rams books like, the turtle sauce. We'll think of him as like a Gordon Ramsay sort of famous, but he's known to be a very calm and collected individual instead of a very uh, loud and brash man. I call it bold and brash. Brash. More like <laughs> belongs in the trash. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I, 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 I love I, how I, you, I, you I, laugh so hard your squid was just ruined. Completely <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he goes to this island. This he famous goes to this chef. island with his girlfriend. There are like several other people. There's 12 people in total going to attend to it. Going to the island with his girlfriend. He's 19. She's 17. That does not talk oh. about the movie. And then... No, no. <laughs> um, shut up, call me Carson. <laughs> Carson? Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, there, There's a, uh, like, a Steven Seagal kind of, like, bad actor type guy who is, like, kind of a bit, like, uh, run down in the years and stuff. There are some tech bros. There's a food critic. There's a politician. Um, Salt Bay's in the movie. <laughs> no. uh, I don't think there's the guy's mother, and I don't think there's any more guests that come to mind. Is this like a death game movie or something? Kinda. So, getting okay. in the spoilers, all these people are gonna die because they have all ruined the art of culinary cooking. Uh, how? They're all very toxic people who have done one thing or another. Uh, starting with the uh, actor, <laughs> who I think has the worst reasoning to be killed. He made a movie calling Dr. Sunshine, and it was what the uh, main chef watched on his one day off for like six months. Yeah. He works every day straight, and he only had one day off. And he lives on this island making mm -hmm. this menu and stuff. Uh, and it's like they only do it like once a couple, like three months or stuff. So mm -hmm. it was like his first day off. And he goes and he sees this movie in the cinema and it was so bad that it ruined his entire one day off and like just made him so <laughs> hateful and just angry that he said, yeah, this guy gets to die. I'm going to kill this guy for making a bad movie, a movie yeah. that I didn't like. Hmm. Yeah, that's literally he's like, I was Wait, so it's the act. chef. It's the chef that's doing it or. Yeah, the chef and all of his crew. I've all like collectively. So, so nobody in the movie is good then is what no. you're saying. Well, minus one uh but you know i'd say even the second like the lady that was with the actor who's like his like uh his like uh head uh not dp but like head assistant she's like quitting and going to work somebody out where somewhere else she admits that she's been stealing money from him wait so is it, is it just the actor in that movie uh it's uh yeah, it's the actor in the movie, not the like director or anything. Oh, so it's that's not the... even the it's not even the director. No. Oh my god, no, that, that's the joke. He's like, I'm not the director. I was just in it. I know it's bad. I'm sorry. And he's like, No, 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 you were you the face will of be it. sorry. You know, he's like, You were the face of it. You are what I saw when I closed my eyes. Your performance <laughs> it haunted me. And like the actor goes, <laughs> the actor after hearing this, and like this is the reason he's gonna die. He goes, Yeah, okay sure <laughs> and his head gets bisected and <laughs> no it's it's his jaw it's, detaches from his face we will get into how they die but then he like turns and he's like so what about the lady i came with why does she deserve to die and he like looks at her and he goes oh uh what school did you go to brown do you have student loans no and he's like sorry you're just gonna die like there's no pity <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even like do anything directly to him it's just she's she like, not, like a, it would have been way better if it was just like why is she gonna die it's like because she's a woman it's like and everyone's face palms like oh of course yeah makes sense <laughs> the uh tech <laughs> bros are like uh embezzling money and stuff and like stealing from innocent good people and stuff the There's uh one of the tech bros named jackson jackson <laughs> by chance uh uh does he no. like does he go to the island because he's a big fan of tiki's <laughs> and maybe wants to try some exotic alcohol? Maybe bought the entire studio. Maybe using maybe all paid for by a card that's not his. <laughs> you know, it's interesting, JD. There wasn't a guy that looked like them. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's but, even um, more funny is that the new guy that they hired looks a lot like him too. <laughs> I, I I genuinely thought it was him at first. Yeah. God, it's so funny when they brought that guy out. I feel um, bad for him because now that's gonna be that's gonna be his identity from now on. New Jackson. New Jackson. New Tucker. 
so the politician, he's a shitty person. He's just like he just spends I mean, his. If, he, if all he is is an asshole, then that's that's okay. No, uh, he's a very awful person. He's done awful things. He like cheats on his wife and stuff, and he does I mean, it that's very personal, weirdly. You know? He like hires escorts and asks them to pretend to be his daughter. I mean, that's just, that's just uh, role play is purely consensual. It's it's yeah. all uh, it's, it's all personal, that, really. I don't really care what you who you you it, know. Cheat but it on. also all affects like the whole reason. It's like you affected my craft. You made me hate the art of doing this and stuff. And so, like with the tech bros, their boss uh, is the like uh, investor for the island restaurant. But he's also tried to manipulate it and like made them make them change and like he's tried to destroy it. Like he keeps trying to affect it in such negative ways and they're like abusing their position as like partners to this guy. I mean, for their you know, spot it's just, it's just business. Stuff. It's just business, son. Exactly. They're like, it was just business. He's like, Well, it's my livelihood to me. It's the art. It's the whole reason I'm alive. <laughs> and it's the reason you're gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, and then the politician, he's like, this is an experience that only people get to experience if they're lucky one time. Mm -hmm. And the politician has been there 11 times. <laughs> you know, it's funny that... Um... And he couldn't, in like, he... Sorry, I don't... What were you saying? <laughs> I was about to say, uh, it would be funny if uh, next week I get I got us a ticket to go to, uh, to an, uh, a remote island and try out some Katie? food there. JD, I'd go. I know. I would know what would happen. You I'd go. fully knowing what will happen, you will still go. Hey, Katie, a character in the movie does that. <laughs> fully knowing that. And you're going to be like that person. No, the thing is, I'm going to be better at that person. I'm not going to pretend I know how to cook. <laughs> I would be, the, when the chef, when the chef goes, you're one of us now. Now cook. I'm not going to be like. Yeah, I need a, uh, I need leads. I need a uh, mushrooms and onions. I need a uh, lamb, and I'm gonna fuck it. I'm just gonna be like, I don't know, give me bread and like peanut butter and jelly. I'll make you a good one. Find me a toaster, dog. <laughs> you don't even need a knife. I'll just use my hands to smear it on there. <laughs> Extra flavor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Get me like two waffles and some peanut butter and jelly. It's, I, I swear, it's better than normal peanut butter and jelly. Trust me. You know, hey, when you got a sore throat, it goes slides right down. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I say to him. That's what I say. And then he eats him and he goes, hmm. <laughs> yeah, as he's <laughs> cutting the leg off of one of the other inhabitants, the island that goers, he's like, hmm. I was going to say, yeah, that's what he says as he tears the toe off my cat. <laughs> tears the toe off of the, uh, of the politician. Hmm. <laughs> um, and so, like, the politician also, also, also can't name All like true. any any dish he's had over the 11 times he's come and the thing is like they name what the dish is how it's prepared who made it like whose idea it was and they like go to extensive detail about it and he couldn't name a single one yeah of course over not. the 11 times he's come there and there have been like eight courses that they get each time <laughs> that's a lot of courses to remember <laughs> to remember one hey i'm sorry do you remember what you had this morning yes what Waffles with peanut. <laughs> no, just regular waffles. <laughs> okay, uh, <James. laughs> but uh, then it's like, uh, yeah, I really think that's all the people there. And then it's like the foodie guy. He just ruins it because he thinks like he knows everything. He he looks at all the information. He's like, I, I'm I'm one of you. It's like, no, you're just the guy who really wants to be, but you don't give a shit. You just use your power of like status to try and abuse your way into things. You take so There's many photos that you that. don't even. No, well, no, there is. Uh, <laughs> I he, he's like, you just take photos of the food. You don't actually care for it. You you like glorify everything I do, but you do not give a shit. Hey, that's just how he cares. Takes photos of it. Just oh. everyone has their different way of showing it. So know? they were very ex ex explicitly told, "Don't take photos." And all he did was take photos of the food. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, if if one person has one way of showing off how they do it, and one person has another way of showing it, it's just it's just how the world works. The food critic, uh, like foreclosed a lot of places because she gave them bad reviews and stuff. They probably deserved it. No, that's like the whole <laughs> point is that she's like. <laughs> no, I, I I get it. I'm a bad person. I I gave pretty shitty reviews that didn't really deserve to be bad. Now die. Uh, but then the last person, our main character Anya Taylor Joy, she plays the character Margot Mills. Princess Peach is in this movie. She is. 
Uh, but the thing is, she was not supposed to be there, JD. It was <gasps> supposed to be Tyler's original girlfriend who bailed on him because she broke up with him. <gasps> so what did he do? He hired an escort to come to this island with him. But <gasps> the thing is, JD, so she's an escort. Ah. Yes. But the thing is, JD, Tyler knew everybody was going to die from the beginning. <gasps> so he hi he hired her to come along with them and die, knowing what would happen. For no reason? No, because he didn't care. He just couldn't come alone. Like, there was no seating for just one. Oh. So he literally hired her just so she could die because he wanted to be there so badly. <laughs> to be there to die? He knew that he was going to die? No, he thought he was so special that he could not be killed. Oh. I mean, I, I guess I, I know people like that. I'm talking to one right now. Uh, no, I, I Who just thinks they're die. so special, you know, it's just... JD, I just am immortal. You're free I'm... from all criticism, free from all, from all, um, uh, all these, all these, uh, sheep opinions about these games and movies so, that you don't like and everyone, or that you like and everyone else doesn't like. Getting back to the movie, JD, <laughs> they kind of <laughs> yeah. breeze through it a bit. Uh, the sous chef shoots himself in the head and that's kind of like what kicks off the madness. They ah. cut off the politician's finger after he says he's going to handle the situation. Oh, I get it. It's the, it's the pun, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is. They're, they're, they're like, and how are you going to handle it? With which hand? <laughs> then they cut off his finger. <laughs> yeah. And like, Whoops, missed. Uh, let me try that again. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh my god, the guy actually shoot himself? And they're like, and the food critic's like, no, it's all part of the show, obviously. Of course and it's not real. Why would he shoot actor, himself? The actor's like, I don't know. That's not how that's supposed to look. That looks real. I don't that know, man. Look looks like pretty real to me. And all the tech bros are like, oh, it's it's fake. It's it's fake. Oh, 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 okay. And they just go back to eating. <laughs> okay. I mean, to be honest, James, if you if you and me were out getting some jolly bees at the newly opened place <laughs> and some person in the booth like the, next the to us. Chef. The sous, sous chef. chef in the in the back of the kitchen, which has an open window to the back of the kitchen, mm -hmm. he pulls out a gun and shoots himself in the head. W d would you think that that was real? I'd clap and go, oh, oh, astonishing, astonishing, good sir. <laughs> and then in the court trial, it's like, uh, so yeah, this person was, uh, you're on camera recorded clapping and uh, cheering at this person's death. And you're like, your honor, it was a good show. Your honor, your honor, jolly good. Jolly good. Jolly bees, as they say. <laughs> Smash cut to you in jail. Your Honor, it it was jolly good. One would even say the bees knees. <laughs> I was just Sentence. being jolly. <laughs> Sentence to life. <laughs> <laughs> so Margot, she's like, my name's not Margot, it's uh, Aaron. I'm it's really actually Margot nice. Robbie. <laughs> she the, the chef he like pulls her into his back office, he's like you're not one of them. You're not an elite. You're literally a service worker. What are you doing here? And like he gives her the option. You can either be with them or you can be with us. She's like, I don't fucking care. I just want to leave. <laughs> and he's like, but you haven't even eaten your food. And she's like, I don't fucking care. You oh, you don't care about the food? Well, let me <laughs> let me make you care. And he like cuts <laughs> off her fingers. No, she's like the only person that doesn't care. It like astonishes him. <laughs> that doesn't care about the food? Yeah, like I thought she, he killed someone for not caring about the food. Was it the picture guy, right? The no, 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 no. The picture guy hung himself because he tried to make the chef food. The chef's like, "This is literally dog shit. You're literally horrible. You're oh. the reason I fucking hate my I, art." I thought you said the picture. The the reason the chef gave for killing the picture guy was because he didn't care about the food. No, no, no. He, he had reasons to want to kill everybody, but he never actually killed him. That guy went into the back and hung himself. Oh. And just, it's a very kind of bleak shot where it's like he kind of walked away after like he cried because the chef told him something in his ear. He cried, nodded his head and like walked into the back and we never saw him again. And then like, like, oh, my God, hey. the chef's an alternate mental manipulation <laughs> and skill. <laughs> Holy crap. I knew it. I knew nobody was that. Uh, I knew what someone was that deranged. Nobody could be that deranged. What it has the, to be uh, an alternate. <laughs> what are the sous chefs? <laughs> Your skin is not your own. We contorted a flesh and broken bones. I made myself known. One of the sous chefs is like, hey, Do you remember my touch? <laughs> one of the sous chefs is like, hey, can you go into the back? The, the head chef wants to talk to you. She goes back there and she like stops. She turns. She looks at an open door. And you just see like his leg, his legs dangling as he's just hanging in like a meat locker. <laughs> it's like that kinda... swing sound effect where it's like the metal creaking like eh. 
<laughs> and he's like straight <laughs> side to side. Yeah, basically. But um, then like she tries calling the Coast Guard after she gets away and like finds a radio. The Coast Guard was in on it the entire time. They're one of the chefs. Oh my god! They, they pull a gun on everybody and then they light a candle and everyone's like, "It's good acting. It's good acting." He's the, yes, he was the soup good. chef. <laughs> yeah, he's like one of the chefs. He takes off like all this Coast Guard gear. He's wearing the apron and everything underneath. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. He, he does like a couple bows. All the chefs in the back are clapping. They're all like cheering. They're like, "Yeah, you go, Doug. You yeah, go, Doug. Yeah, you got it's. It's like that scene from uh, Julian Smith's music video of where he's like at the dinner yeah. reservation. <laughs> I'd rather eat Randy, and everyone's like cheering. It's that that scene. Basically. Yeah, I would imagine that to be the menu. Where it's just like, they're like, they'll have like a naked dude on the table. And they're putting like condiments on him, planning to eat, like eat him and everyone's cheering. I know, basically. Um, But uh, like then uh, like that happens and then they're like, we're disappointed in you, Margo. You were supposed to be one of us. And then uh, they all go back to cooking the final course. And she stands up. She does the clap that the chef does every time he introduces a new course. Mm-hmm. And then she just starts belittling the shit out of him. And it, he's the like, chef? He, yes. And he's like made a very clear statement. Like, I'm an unfeeling person. I do not give a shit like what any of your opinions on me are and stuff. Okay. And it's like, this is the first time, like everybody's been snapping at him, yelling at him this entire time, but it's like her belittling him that like actually makes him like kind of like crack and like start to whimper a little as he talks. Like she, <laughs> like just a weak little boy. Generally she goes, your food is fucking awful. And he's like, what? And she's like, and I'm still hungry. And he like pauses, his eyes go wide. Cause he <laughs> was like, like the he, worst bullet <laughs> things ever. There was more to it, but like there was a whole scene at the beginning where he was like talking to her and she was, he was like, why aren't you eating the food? She's like, oh, I just, I'm not she's that like, hungry. Uh, right because this is bad. Take this L plus ratio plus stay bad. Uh, no, she, I'm out of here. Fools. She, she's like, Oh well, I just want to. I don't want to like you know fill up because I want to eat the rest of the course. He's like, no, no. I literally measured out everything. This cannot fill you up. I guarantee you. You just don't want to eat, huh? Huh? Like he starts like going like, uh, you just don't want to eat my food, huh? And so when she's like, I'm still, f- like I'm still hungry. He's like, that that shouldn't be. Like it starts like kind of breaking his system that he has. And she's like, <laughs> in like, fact, well, this well. food was not busted. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what happened. She said those words. Oh my god. Did she? No. I would, I would, I would be hilarious no. if she actually said bussin' in the movie. <laughs> it would be pretty funny. But Come on, I dude. This, I think this was before bussin'. Bussin' 2. Pre-bustin'. <laughs> they uh, need to make a sequel. Bussin' 2. The bussinator. Bussin' to bustin'. Finally, some good bussin' food. Shut, shut up. <laughs> so... <laughs> So he's like, well, what would you like us to make you? We can make you anything. And she's like, anything? I don't believe you. And he's, she's like, he's like, yes, anything, anything you want at all. We'll make it for you. And I guarantee you, you'll like it. And she's like, I want you to make me a cheeseburger. And he like pauses. And there's like a slight whine to him as he goes, eh, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's breaking him mentally. And she's I like, no, 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 no. a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Press release after cheeseburger first. (laughs) I want an American cheeseburger. (laughs) Yes, JD. Yes. And I also want your disgusting. No, 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 not that. (laughs) So she's like, no, no, no. I don't want you to make a cheeseburger like you think you were going to. I'm not asking for some convoluted, deconstructed food and stuff. I, I just know. want a normal traditional I want cheeseburger. a McDonald's cheeseburger. Yes, yes JD. <laughs> She's like, I just want a normal cheeseburger. He's like, uh, how, how do you want it cooked? Well done. Uh, and uh, what kind uh, of cheese? And she's like, American cheese. And he goes, American. Like, he swallows. And he's like, American cheese. The best kind of cheese for a cheeseburger because the cheese doesn't split when it melts. Like he's talking about like all the reasons why it's the that's worst. That's true, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like a that's because like all the preservatives and it's like plastic and shit. And probably because it's probably the cheapest. Yeah, that's, that's probably the biggest reason. And he's like, yeah, I mean, I'll, he like he, like he sounds almost angry when he's talking. He's like, yeah, I'll make you a cheeseburger, the cheeseburger that your mother bought you that she could barely afford, the cheap one that you got from the restaurant. <laughs> starts, <laughs> starts belittling your socioeconomic status. 
Yeah, but That's she's hilarious. like, she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> she's like, and how much will that set me back? And he's like, nine ninety nine. And she fucking raises her eyebrows because she's like, I know this man's never eaten out before. Dwayne like, the Rock Johnson eyebrow raise, boom like that, sound, <laughs> boom vine sound effect. <laughs> she's like, that is not the price of what this kind of cheeseburger would cost. And she's like, do fries come with that? And like, he kind of like shakes again before turning around and being like, do we have fries still on? <laughs> Can I get some fries with that? Some fries, motherfucker. <laughs> And it's it's this scene that we didn't we don't get the entire movie. It's uh it's a scene of him cooking and mm-hmm. everything's silent. And it's Wait, not so the sound- there was no scene of him cooking before. Yeah, you, you, you see him plating food where he's taking things that other people cook because he's made the menu for his other chefs to make in mass together. Oh, I see. But because this is a thing for one person, he wants to make sure that it is something that she can actually eat and enjoy. Ah, uh, so the head chef movie. steps in for this one. Mm-hmm. And so he steps in, and it's not the scene of us hearing the uh, the sounds of the kitchen, of, like, the multiple spoons, like, scraping and stuff, and the food, like, cooking. It's this very big orchestral uh, song playing as he cooks alone, and he's making this cheeseburger from, like, scratch and everything. <laughs> and the entire movie, he has, not, he has not smiled at all, except for, like, when doing speeches, and it's, like, the whole, like, kind of, like, fake smile that you do and stuff as a retail worker. Like, that's the whole thing is that it's like, it's a fake smile. Like, uh, have a good day. The smile where your eyes don't move. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you, that's entirely right, JD. Mm-hmm. Um, he's smiling while cooking the cheeseburger. And it's a different smile. It's one of like him actually enjoying making food again. And he, he makes this burger and he walks it over to her himself and everything. He gives it to her and she eats it. And she like takes a couple bites and she goes, now I'm full. And that was the best burger I've ever eaten. And she like, it's this clear moment of her being cocky where she's like, can I get it to go? And like, he, you see him process. He's like, oh, wow, this person actually gets to live. He like goes, gets her a box. He places it inside of it for her. And she gets to leave the island while everybody else has to die. That's because cool. Wait, so is it, everyone else dead at this point? Or No, they were, everybody was still alive. Oh, okay. Uh, except for like a couple characters like chefs and like uh the ceo guy not the tech bros but you telling boss. me that the sous chef who shot himself with the head is still is dead <laughs> no did he was, it was an effect <laughs> i thought it was fake i thought it was, <laughs> um, I thought it was for the like, show she takes the burger and she literally just leaves the island she gets on the boat that the coast guard guy drove in on and then she like stops the boat like outside of the island turns around and just sits on the front of it and just finishes eating her food while watching the island and they they bring out the final course for everybody else, which is decorating everybody in very elaborate uh, costumes. Okay, which, they're cosplaying. It's a cosplay party, yeah. So everybody gets a poncho made of marshmallows, JD. Ooh, and a uh, little uh, racist, like, <laughs> and a uh, like a fez hat. Do you know what that is? It's like the cylindrical mm-hmm. red hat. Yeah, I seen it when I was playing Lego Indiana Jones, and they were in the Middle East. Well, yeah. <laughs> Um, they everybody gets a chocolate fez hat. Ooh! And and can you picture where this is going? No, they just eat it, I guess. No, JD, they're uh, so nobody moves from their chair at this point. <laughs> Could they move from the chair, or are they like yeah, stuck they in there? Mo- they can move, but at this point, all of the rich people literally like came to the agreement that like, yeah, we we are just horrible. We should we should just fucking let ourselves die. <laughs> oh, so they become good people in the end. It's a Red Dead Redemption kind of moment. Well, it's more like they all look at the one person who's like morally the best of them, which was Margo, because she is not actually one of them. She's well, just, I think I don't think such a disgusting sport. person could actually be uh, so morally correct, James. <laughs> She was just like a person who was literally not meant to be here or experience any of this. She just got brought because some guy didn't want to go alone. I'm sorry, but I don't think an OnlyFans girl is. I- <laughs> and that's not what that is, J. <laughs> I can't. Is that not that what enough. an escort is? No. Those What's are an escort? Different things. Uh, an escort is a person you buy it like uh, a kind of a more expensive version of like a a a hooker. Oh, it's not an e girl. A- no that's not what that is at all uh Mm, gotta apologize to a couple people after this (laughs) um but 
they they all like sit down they have they pour like graham cracker dust on the ground they like the chefs start taking Ooh. these big ladles they're making these elaborate like kind of markings as if you would make on a plate Ooh. they uh they then <laughs> they, it makes me hungry been, james i'll go get some food after this this movie did kind of make me hungry i'm gonna be honest <laughs> um but gonna go get myself a hamburger there's this other guy who's like a a concierge that's been like pouring wine the entire movie, and he has like a bottle of wine, and he's like kind of dancing in the background while they're like laying all this stuff down. He's he's pouring wine and like alcohol all over the ground. Hell yeah! <clears throat> and then uh, they finally like at the center of it, there's a giant pile of graham cracker dust that's flammable, and it will lead to like everybody else that's in the restaurant, all the uh like uh diners, mm-hmm. and all the chefs and all like the personnel pack up in the kitchen mm-hmm. and uh they turn on all the gas on all those stoves and stuff then the main chef walks over to like a brick fire oven picks up uh, a couple of the stones with his hand and stuff walks over to the pile of graham crackers throws it on it and it like lights him on fire and then it like slowly burns everybody else alive and this is what margo is watching while she eats her cheeseburger from afar mm. well that's um is that where it really, really ends Yes, that's it ends right there, and it's oh. really like I cannot stress. I do a bad job at describing movies. This is a really good movie, though. I'm and, sure it is. And when you watch it, like in full, uh, apparently a lot of people were confused why he let Margot go, mm-hmm. and the literal reason is that she was the one person there that made him feel like he could like he he liked the art of making food again, and it was because he made a simple cheeseburger that he hated. That like he hated, he hated, he hated the concept of making a cheeseburger, but because he just stopped and made it himself, and it wasn't like a thing of, well, I gotta make it because it has to be perfect. It's just I can make it because it's food. Yes. Did I did I did I fuck up explaining that? <laughs> no, no, no. I I'm pretty sure some people get that in the uh, the viewers. I I I liked it. I felt like that was made like I mean, sense it sounds interesting. Up. Yeah. Again, it's the whole like we aren't watching it from the view of like these chefs have a job that they have to do. It's he just gets to stop and do this because this was not a planned thing. This is something he's just making off the back of like uh I don't know and stuff. It's yeah, just yeah. I think I think at the end of the day though, if I was Margot, uh, Aaron, her name's Aaron. Aaron, my name. If I was Margot Aaron, uh, I would probably have ordered something a little bit better than cheeseburger. Yeah, what if you if you guys what, enjoyed what, Jenny, you should Jenny, like Jenny, hmm? if I if I was Aaron, I would have ordered uh waffles with peanut butter and jelly. I would have ordered a double cheeseburger because she did a get single a one. Oh, I would have ordered a triple cheeseburger <laughs> because a double wouldn't have filled me up. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed, you should like, subscribe. We do this every Sunday. Every Sunday. We're filming every it on Sunday. Sunday. It comes out every Sunday. If you're not subscribed, you won't get notified and then maybe you'll miss it or maybe not since it lasts for however long the channel is going to be up um, until we get a we until get a James gets a arrested James gets arrested for a defamation case <laughs> criminal charges on a defamation case but uh yeah that's that's it for me us this week bring us out James so uh I watched the movie and I had the thought to myself hmm what would my uh my reason die be Oh, 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 oh,